Orzel Johnson back in the building. What's up with it, my G? What's happening? Uh, what's Gucci I, people? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So what's 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 been happening, bro? I see a lot of good things oh. for you. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been having stuff that hold me back from elevating. So I'm trying to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Try to do a little song. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Uh. Let's uh let's let's catch up, man. What, what what you been into uh since the last time we talked, man? I mean, I know uh you know you came on the show twice. Uh you know we did uh you know we did a formal meet and greet, but uh what actually brought mm-hmm. us together was uh was tragedy. Uh, you was the driver right. that that found uh the young the the lady driver that perished on the uh, side of the road. Uh, let, let's talk about that a little bit. Have you have have you heard any uh, updates, or have you heard from the family, uh, or anything like that? Well, um, my daughter had wrote me like a few months after that happened, and uh, she just thanked me for uh, basically finding her mother, and uh, that was about it. And um, I ain't heard nothing from nobody since then. <laughs> All right, yeah, I need to get back in contact, uh, you know, with her to do a follow up because I, I know she's she's a truck driver as well, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a messed up situation uh, again. Shout out to you, man, for you know for being there. Um, you made the call and everything. Was they able? Now I read, uh, like maybe about a couple of weeks later after that, I, I read that they did they actually catch the guy. Yo, uh, that's what I read. Uh, they had caught the guy. He was like butt naked, like not too far from where I found the lady. Uh, he was like in the middle. Of and um, they had just arrested him because he was like in the middle of the street, but they could be in wild. And uh, they said they took him to, in custody, and uh, he fought police going to custody. Man, that's crazy. All right, so uh, let's fast forward to fast forward to now, man. So, are you are you still in trucking, or you looks like? I, I I seen your badge and everything. Are are you still driving or or what? What, what are we doing now? Uh, yeah, I'm still driving. I'm doing the yard jack. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We hold on. If I'm not mistaken, if if I'm not mistaken, and let let me make sure, you you was you was driving for J B Hunt at the time, right? No. No, I was not never drive for Debbie Hunt. I would drive for uh, Midwest Logistics. Mid- oh, okay, okay, okay. My my bad. See, that's why I said that. That's why I keep up with my fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They keep mm-hmm. me straight. Yeah. Um, so you, so that was dedicated, though, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was dedicated. Uh, go to Kentucky, come back. Uh, be home daily. So. Why, why you get up to? Why you give that up to become a yard jockey? Now I know, I know. Let, let me see if I can guess, so you can get that blind side on point, right? <laughs> no, it won't that. Uh, the reason why I, I came uh, off there is because I, I it got tired of me go back and forth to Kentucky, and then um, I you know got to go drive through all weather conditions. So when it's but it's snow up there. You have to drive up there and stuff like that. So I just got burnt out, and I was like, uh, "This job paying a little more, so let me hop on it." That's how that happened. Okay, okay. You 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 want to shout out the company you work? I mean, you driving for? Or you you don't have to. Uh, 
Uh, see, I just, I, I just, well, obviously, it must not want you to say because you, if you said it, you just come right out on it. Is it? it, it well, I just, I just saw it um, like a day before my birthday. Oh, my birthday okay. was on uh, Thursday, so I just saw it. Uh, bit orientation went. I just, I'm just not sure. Okay, that's what's up. Well, happy belated birthday, bruh. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you uh so so you at work now on the holiday. Yeah. See we my first day. see we're truck drivers, man. Let me let me tell you guys something about holidays. So I you know, some companies they be like they'll dispatch you out on a birthday. I mean on a on a holiday. And if you need, if you want that holiday off, you got to let them know previously. Like, yeah, you know, right. just because it's a holiday. Like yeah, just because it's a holiday, we still need that load there on Tuesday, bro. How you gonna, how you gonna not get it there if you're not work uh, driving on a holiday? I'm just saying, bro. I, right. I, I wanted that day off. <laughs> 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 oh man, so do you, you just, how, how did you come across the? How, how did you come across the uh, yard jockey? Because I, I did a call to uh, a company called Laser Spot. Uh, they're located out of Georgia, but you know they got they got contracts with you know Kraft uh, and several other uh, DCs across you know across the nation. How how did you come across this one? Well, my brother here, uh, a yard jockey at Mercedes. And um, when I go up there to pick my load up, I had ran into him. He was like, hey, you know, I know you probably you know um, when I was on the road, I was tired of the hell of being on the, on the road. They, they're going another job, you know what I'm saying, that paying a little more. And um, it's, it's local. And I was like, okay, I'm going to look into it. So when I had looked into it, uh, my best friend, she uh, worked up there also, but she, she do delivery. So um, I looked at tour and I had put in the application and let them know. Is it is the qualifications are the are the same as far as um, you know like what trucking is? Do they have like a orientation that you got to go through? Do you got do you got hours of service that you got to abide by? And well, I, I'm assuming no, being that you in the yard all the time, but. Do do you guys go through well, the same? Have, well, we don't have like hours of service. Uh, the only time you have hours of service is you taking a load somewhere. Like if you take a load to uh, uh, Florida, you got to, you know what I'm saying, uh, log in and do hours of service, stuff like that. But on the yard, you don't. And you still have orientation because they want to teach you about their safety rules and uh, they policy and stuff like that. So you still have oral fishing. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, of course, you know, they, they say yard jockey uh is 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 the best place to work to get your 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 blind side back on point. Is is that true? Blind side any type of back and hip well. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Now, now that you, now that you, you know, you're, you're seeing both sides of the tracks. Tell me if you already know why, why, why the yard jockeys is always mad at us, man. What, what, what's up? Why, why y'all don't, why y'all don't get along with us, man? Why, why we, why y'all? Now that you, now that you came to the dark side, what, explain to us why, 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 why we can't get along, man. I used to do the yard jockey before, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it ain't exclusive. But the reason why some yard jockeys be bad at truck drivers is because they like, they can't bag up, you know what I'm saying? Even though, like, some of them be like, you be trying to hit them, you be like, I, I know, I know, I know, and they still take like 30 minutes to bag up. So it's just one problem. So we have to get the load that, that's already here and put on the door. And this makes no our time to put on the door because we get penalized if we don't put on the door. So they be messing us up when we be trying to help out and then we want to listen. Okay, so uh, okay, so 
Yard jockey. Uh, hey, can I can I drop this trailer right here and and you, and you can put it in for me? What's up? <laughs> come on, come on, I'ma do it, but come on, won't. So they be like, okay, you a truck driver, so bag it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on, I'ma help out, <laughs> and come on, won't. You know what I'm saying? It, it depends on which person that you meet that likes them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, go ahead and drop an apple. You know what I'm saying? But every yard back there like that. I, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna take them but like it's pretty minutes to be the last. Now, I don't mind. now, now, now. Let me ask you, yard jockey. Let me let me ask you: Is 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 the heart is or is the soft legs a little bit more easier to 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 help than the hard legs? If a soft leg coming at you, hey, can you get this in this uh? In 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 this tra- in this for me, would would that be an instant yes? Well, to some of them, because they be they they gonna want to try to holler at them. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> some of them, it depends on what you look like. Some of them be like, yeah, I got, oh yeah, you know what I do it, and they'll come back to the one try to holler at them. But to me, it really don't matter. <laughs> That's what's I'm up. just a cool person. I don't, don't matter, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, you know what I'm saying, give me more stuff to do while I'm at work, because I'm working 12 hours. They'll give me more stuff to do. That's that's what's up, bro. That is what's up. And yes, you are a cool person, man. I, I um, You know what I'm saying? I, I really enjoy, you know, our friendship and all like that, even though we haven't met each other in, in person, but you, you know, the, the conversations that we have on and off and, you know, we're Facebook friends and all like that, man. You 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 one hell of a guy to know. So, you know, kudos to you, man. Much success to you. You know what I'm saying, bro? Much success to you. You know, gotta definitely gotta upgrade. I see everything that you're doing and a lot of stuff, you know, don't need to be said. You know what I'm saying? Because we need to mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, we need to walk in silence and that's how we that that's how we elevate and grow. We just let everybody we just let everybody see our progression. We don't even have to talk about it. You feel me? All right. All right. So I, I ain't said my dog, but I was leaving them till uh, Monday. <laughs> 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 hey, they they gonna hit me up like, uh, is this something that we did? I'm like, no, it ain't nothing y'all did. You know what I'm saying? I have a problem with uh, miscommunication. Y'all don't know how to communicate, you know what I'm saying? So right. you don't go into a topic that communicates, you know what I'm so, uh, That's what it was. Facts. You know, when that, communica- when that communication breaks down, that means the, uh, the, 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 the comfort of the company ain't there no more. Right. You know, that's what's up. Orzel, thank you very much for coming back on, man, and chopping it up with me and uh, catching up with me and everything, man. You guys know that the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. If you guys want to jump on and get at me, y'all know what to do, too. one 6 And you can come on and chop it up with me like my guy right here, Orzel. Orzel, man, thank you very much once again, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know the slap, high five, all that good shit for you, man. And continue to elevate, bro. All right, appreciate you. All right, I appreciate your time, bro. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.